Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about a race install and using this to upgrade macOS computers in an enterprise fleet. So this is the GitHub repository from Graham's software. And this is the wiki for that. So I'll have a link in the end of the description below. It's currently on version 27 at the time of this recording. And this is, in my opinion, the best software for upgrading and reinstalling Mac OS on Apple Silicon computers, especially if you're in an environment where most of your users are standard users. They don't have admin rights. This is particularly helpful for that type of user account when it comes to major upgrades, such as the one that most system administrators or Mac administrators are doing now from, or at least planning to do now, from Mac OS Mojave, sorry, Monterey, to Ventura. So those are some of the parameters. Now I'm gonna talk about how I've configured this script and the way I use it in this uh, Jamf Pro instance for erasing and reinstalling computers and updating computers. I think it's the best way to do it. So I use it for a lot of things. And this is really the foundation for some of the other tutorials I have on how to force users to update. So here's the first script. We'll go ahead and edit it so we can see the general uh, page. The execution frequency on this is ongoing and there's no trigger. So it must be triggered from self-service. We can see the package is erase-install-dep-notify version 27.7. And then we have these files and processes. I'll put this command in the comments below, which have force curl, reinstall, update current user, overwrite, and DEP notify as the arguments for the command. We can look at our scope. We have a smart scope there of all the M1 computers in the fleet. And then in self-service, if you execute this command, and the description is to this document that I maintain that I share with all users uh, that tells them how to update their computer following self-service. It also has information that's just helpful for um, bugs related to the new operating system that they may have, like their monitor going to extended display instead of mirrored, or their sound output resetting to default as well. Okay, so now let's look at my erase install package number two. So we'll edit this one so we can see it better. This one's enabled, category utilities. Same thing, it's uh, ongoing, package is the same. So execution frequency is ongoing. And you gotta be really careful with this because if, if you set this up to erase computers and you put an execution frequency of reoccurring and scoped it to those machines, you could end up where people are just nuking their own machines. So here's our file and process ease. We'll pause and go back to that. I'm going too fast. So looking at execute command, the arguments are force curl, erase, and DEP notify. So that's what we're using. That erase means it's going to erase the computer. It's a hard drive. It's scoped to all my computers. We have a warning and self-service and a description that says exactly what it does. So if someone wants to nuke their computer, they can. And this is helpful for, uh, you know, in a school setting in the summer, you can just have your um, intern crew take your fleet of computers from graduating students uh, or employees who have left the organization, log in, go into self-service and run this. So we got it in the utilities folder. You can also tell employees as they leave that they can do this too. And they can get you one step ahead of the game. So that's that. Again, we're looking at the following arguments. These are super important. Force curl, space erase, space DEP notify. And that erase part is really important to understand. That's what's causing this script to erase the computer and not update it, right? Oh, well, it will update it after it erases it, but you're going to lose all the data. Okay, so let's save this out and look at another example, another way I run 
uh, erase install. When that is with this override option. So the override option will find a valid installer using the magic of scripting. So I'm not going to go into how it works. You can read the GitHub repository, but the same thing. We got our package here. Everything's very similar to our other policies. And then under files and processes, we have another argument. So we go force curl space overwrite space erase space DEP notify. And of course, you're going to put your dashes in. Um, ideally, you're coding this up in a text editor. And of course, you're always testing this before scoping it to a fleet. And this is the other one I have. And so I have a different icon here of a nuclear explosion so that hopefully I can remember um, that it's different. So that's updates automated on Mac OS computers. That's how uh, where, where the user triggers them. And that is how you can erase uh, a computer in a fleet where the user also triggers them. In any case, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.